some of you may be new to this channel and I haven't really talked about what's been going on in my life. Alright, pause. Before we get into my long, convoluted, and excessively extensive explanation of what's going on lately, first, let's bring it back to the beginning of the week. A simple deload week training for triathlon. This is me at 8.30 in the morning before I go swimming. This is me after my morning swim. This week has been a little bit of a down week, a recovery week. And that does not mean though that I get in my hours in my workout. It just means a little bit less intensity, a little bit less volume. Something I've actually been trying to work on, workshop for myself. Uh, to try to figure out what the perfect balance between rest and activity is. I used to do a little bit too much rest, I think, so that wasn't helping. Um, but this is also meaning that I am doing no caffeine this week. But it's good to let my uh, nervous system rest a little bit. So my name's Ethan Sinceri and I'm 23 years old. I just graduated college under a year ago in exercise science and I've been training in triathlon for just over two years now. I've been competing for almost two years. I've been running for since I was a sophomore in high school. It's Wednesday which normally means I do my workouts on Wednesdays, my run workouts and I'm going to be doing a Progression run today. The thing about going uh, resetting from caffeine and kind of balance between the rest weeks is that you feel a little extra fatigued. And so you got to give yourself a little bit more rest. You got to try to sleep in a little bit more, take a nap, whatever. And so, although I'm feeling pretty good now. It was not the easiest to get out the door for because I don't want to lose fitness. So, just going to ease into it. Okay, almost two miles into the progression. 6.45 pace. I'm doing 15, cutting by 15 seconds each mile. About. So, uh, going up 6.30 pace now. Just finished, oh no, go on down now. Really went for the last month. Six, no, 5.45. And yeah, I feel fresh as hell, so I think the mission was accomplished. And basically what I've been trying to achieve over the last couple of months and over the last year since graduating college and my ambitions were towards seeing how far I could go in the sport of triathlon. I have a deep passion to see how much physical potential I, I can get out of myself. All right, so it is Thursday. I'm about to go on a bike ride, a road on my road bike. And usually on Thursdays I do, uh, I just go on my road bike and I hit some hills, try to get some elevation in. And so that will be the plan for today with the main goal of just doing a little bit less uh, mileage and a little bit less uh, effort than usual just to spin out the legs and rest up a little bit. I am going to be trying today uh, some Morton on the ride. I've never used it before and I'm going to be testing it out to see how it goes and see how I like it. Hey, if I want to use it for racing, we'll see. I got some, a few other uh, items from them, and so I'm going to be testing them out periodically throughout my training. Probably two, especially next week, when I get into a little bit more 
hard training. All right. All right, I am wrapping things up here. So usually I do about one or two K of meter of elevation for most of my rides. And let me give you a quick rundown of what we're or drink mix, what I think. All right, so first of all, you can definitely tell that this was made by a Swiss or some Dutch guy or whatever, you know. There is, the flavor is absolutely horrid. Just pure performance liquid. You know, they can add like a little bit of like, uh, you know, a little bit of juice to it or something, a little bit of flavor. And the consistency is also not great. It's gelatinous. But, you know, that's their patented thing. It's supposed to uh, absorb into your stomach better, which is true, I believe. Uh, <clears throat> but it tastes like you're kind of sipping on soap or some really cold, just like mucus, which is obviously not great. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, it's got, you know, I gotta pee so bad. I haven't even finished the entire thing because I don't really need to, but I'll save it for next time. That's my review of it. Over the last couple of months, especially, I've been really trying to be intentional and dial in on getting more out of myself. I've really been trying to not be complacent in my training. There, I've been really consistent over the many years that I've been training, yet sometimes I've been a little too complacent in not pushing the needle far enough in terms of doing more volume, doing more intensity. Although, I have saved myself from quitting. Consistency, I believe, is one of the most important things that you can possibly strive for when it comes to trying to be good at anything. Consistency is so important. And you don't want to lose the love for doing something every single day. And so you also don't want to get the physical burnout of running or biking or swimming every single day of working out every single day it takes an immense toll on your body and so i've been really careful about increasing my volume and intensity and <clears throat> for a good reason i'm still here and i'm i'm still competing and i still want to train but it's time to start upping it more. Of course, sometimes I go through depressive states. Of course, sometimes I don't want to train. But this is one of the things that, if you go back and look through my hundreds of videos that I've made, it's it's a goal that I've had for a, for a very long time. And I'm extremely fortunate and I'm extremely lucky to even be able to think and be able to even believe that I can achieve something like this, I can even pursue something like this. Where does this lead me right now? I've gotten scared and I think rightfully so, you should be scared and I think most people get scared about the sheer amount of dedication that you have to have to something in order to be really, really good at something. Even if you're not, of course, you may never be the greatest and I don't think I will ever be the greatest at any one thing, but I can be really, really good at something. And the sheer amount of work and dedication that that takes is something that is so hard to wrap your mind around that it is extremely intimidating. And it's not fun most of the times. It's a little bit isolating as well. You know, sometimes people don't understand it. And... Rightfully so, like, most people, it's going to be too much. Like, just enjoy your life. That's, like, you should just enjoy your life, and you shouldn't force yourself to try to do something that you're absolutely not so 
obsessed about or love, you know, have love for or really want. Like, it just doesn't make sense for most people. And for me specifically, this is like a time sensitive thing. I've been kind of one foot in it, one foot kind of out of it for a little while. And I'm now trying to be like, all right, it's time. It's, it's really time. Like, there is no other time. This is it right now. If I'm really serious about this one thing, like, it's time to put my head to it. Becoming great or really, really good at something isn't an instantaneous change that you can implement overnight. It's a, it's a change that you incrementally incorporate into your life. And slowly through these incremental changes, can you kind of desensitize yourself to the sheer amount of work and progress that you have to make. This is what you have to do. And, but just because you know this is what you have to do doesn't make it any easier. Yeah, so I think in, for the most part, like I'm, I'm in a good spot right now in terms of my mindset towards these things and even towards doing YouTube and making these videos about what I want to do. Here we are, I'm ready to train and I'm gonna be going for it. And I'm going to be trying to be as smart about these things as I possibly can be. And so with that, I'm gonna to try to be as consistent as I can and I'm gonna to continue to see how good I can be. Mm -hmm.